Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Digging Georgia. Here's a little garden update. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and start from what I did this morning. I went ahead and harvest. I see some cucumbers, some more cucumbers actually last night. So I watered the garden down. Got me a little cheap little spring trailer. Three dollars. But here's what I harvested today. And this is not too far after my harvest video. I got like double. I think there's a thing about a garden. If you can't share your stuff, stuff ain't going to grow. Share your stuff. Give it away. Give give people some taste of your garden, you know. Of course, you eat some too, but that's my that's my theory. But here's what I got today out of my cucumber patch and still more growing. I got a, first I got my another yellow, yellow zucchini. Another zucchini. I don't know what kind of zucchini that is. I forgot. I had mixed your seeds from last year in there. So I, I'm not sure what kind of zucchini it is because that's a different kind of markings on it. Um, yesterday it was, it was probably looking like this. It looked just like this. That, about that size of that cucumber. And I got these cucumbers. Um, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19 cucumbers. I had 10 last time. So my junk doubled. And all these cucumbers wasn't even that big them, them days ago. I, I forgot what day I put the video out there, but to do the math, this is this is yielding some good, good produ production on a cucumber vine. And I got I was able to pull off two bell peppers. Good size. They get too big for the plant, so that's a that's a good size you want right there. You can stuff them. A little soft spot, but be all right. I guess I'll go ahead and continue. I noticed my plant that was coming along late. He's finally getting his zucchinis on there. Plants are taking a toll. I guess they coming up, you know, near their time. They're taking a hit with the heat. I guess the heat and the bugs. I'm not even going to bother putting anything on here. I haven't put nothing on here yet. I haven't seen any. I haven't seen any squash burrows in here yet, but in my squash along the line over there, I have my, um, what you call it, crap, acorn squash. I've seen a lot of, I've seen two of my plants get hit over there. But here's the cucumber patch. It's looking very good. I think, I, look at how big the leaves are. That's what you want, man. You want them leaves to be big or soaking up the sun. Maybe you want to water them every day, get them going good. And they look, they're just producing at the top. There's cucumbers all over the place. It looks like it kind of panned out some. It looks like it's kind of stopped for now. The growth stuff on the sides. I got to trim my sides up again. Keep it trimmed also. You know, keep it trimmed. It makes the energy go back into the plant. Keeping your um, cucumbers. Don't let them get too big. That's a good size. Or pickle cucumbers. You, know, you want to keep your cucumbers at a certain size so you can keep the stuff keep, keep going. You know, keep producing. But it's some pretty leaves. This is probably my best cucumber patch I ever had in my whole garden since I've been doing gardening out here. Yeah, be in That's all we need, some more bees, you know. Marion's are doing good. They got a little cluster down here. Got a cluster going right there. And he got his cluster down there. Another cluster, little baby, little man over there doing good. He got his little cluster going on. Collard greens coming back. Looks like they've been eat up a lot more lately, but they don't look like they're going they're going downhill. And then it's probably them little cabbage worms or something. I'll pick them eventually when they get a little bigger again. But, uh, it's looking great. Look at how big the sunflowers are. I picked a little, another little batch of beans. Pass it on down to my brother. Got a, got a good pot full of beans. I also harvested some more jalapenos and sweet peppers the other day. Gave that away to some friends. My brother and some friends. I gave my everybody cucumbers and squash. So they're going to love that stuff. Sweet peppers probably going to have to be picked probably maybe tomorrow. Or oh, what? I might let them get a little bigger. Might I, I might let them mature, but it, it, they just get so jammed up inside a inside a in the bush like that. It is just jam each other up, so I might just let it go. I might let them grow. See how she pushed the limit on them. 
I do a lot of weeding. But I take care of that when it gets cool down again. Chili, hot little Thai chilies or super chilies, whatever you want to call them. Growing a mass again. Poking out all the way down. These have, these are starting to get theirs, I believe. I want to say it. Getting a lot of bulbs. Getting some down here. Habaneros are coming on here. I seen some habaneros somewhere around here. Where'd it go? No one down here had a nice little habanero. Yeah. Oh, got three of them on there. Look at that. Probably got more than that, but peppers were taking a hit. Getting little yellow leaves. Oh crap, man. Man, that's not bad, buddy. Getting yellow leaves on them. I guess it might be from the heat. Man, the hounds are definitely taking a toll over here. They're not bad, but you know, they're just not looking too good. Get them peppers on there, man. I got that's three, four, five, six on that one bush, and on the other one behind it, one, two, three, about three, four, five. Five peppers on one bush. Hey, how about that? I also harvested about three eggplants. The other day, I'm gonna have to harvest again because it got like five, four on that bush, one on there, one on there because I harvest the other ones, one on here, and a bunch on this dang bush. Look at that. Eggplants are nice, man. Y'all should try them out. Asian, get the Asian kind. They slice up real good, not as tough. My Anaheim's. You can see the peppers in there. Maybe they, they get stressed because they grow growing or something. But look how many peppers are on their plants. I want to see how big they get because I want big in the hives. All at the bottom. I done picked a few of them to give my friend too. But these are a lot bigger than they, them. Here's the, the spaghetti, spaghetti squash. <laughs> and here's what it looks like when a burrow is getting in there. They just wreck your, wreck your stem. The stem's not going to grow. Um, I'm just hoping they grow long enough. These looks like the Siamese twin dying off. But here's the main one taking the energy. So they get dark. When the vine, the stem that it grows from gets dry, it means it's ready to go ahead and clip off. It gets real hard down there. It ain't hard. It's still kind of moist. So. It's, these two are doing fine together. Not wrong. That's real dark. How dark it is? It's always getting there. That's getting dark. What is that in there? Oh, weird looking. Oh, it's a dead, dead baby acorn. Didn't make it. <laughs> it don't look like the boros got in here. Well, yeah, they got. Uh, yeah, they got down in there. I see some, some of that mess, yellow mess right there. But uh, they're doing good. I'll get about three out of here. Three acorn squash. This is still loaded down just like the other ones. Of uh, habaneros. They haven't turned yet. Maybe the heat ain't really kicking in yet. And my one down here, look how loaded this thing got. Look how loaded that thing got. That thing is producing, man. I just gotta get it to go and uh, turn orange. <laughs> Marion's over here doing good. Got cluster there. Clusters on that one getting a little bigger. Romas, Romas are they're hanging in there. He got like four clusters on that plant. Two on this one. They're hanging in there. They're starting to get suckered out. The sucker's starting to take, take his own vine, so once you get them suckers out, they start bushing off like this bush right here has bushed. Suckers on a bad thing. Don't let suckers fool you now. Suckers on a bad thing. If you don't want a bush, just I mean, you want a vine, you want a trellis. But be honest with you, the more suckers you got on a tomato plant, the more tomatoes you're going to get. Trust me. Feels like a pepper plant. If you want one vine with a little bit of tomatoes on it, do a trellis. If you want a, a bush 
with a whole bunch of tomatoes on it. Do a, um, don't even worry about the suckers. I think tomatoes are mainly for bush. Unless you're doing like, I mean, Roma's probably good for like trellis, a little, whatever. But I like my tomatoes to be like that because it keeps them shady. You know, their own bush shades them. So. And every, everything needs some shade out here. But I can see, man, these sweet peppers are, are going to, yeah, I'm going to let them grow a little little bigger. Um, my habaneros are starting to get higher. Not habaneros, but my jalapenos. I picked some more for my friends also. I gave them some, but they look like they hanging in there. I'm going to I'm gonna let these mature also red. I'm going to try to. Most like pick half green half, and let some half of them mature red. I'll probably do like that. Sick. This row be for red. The other row be green. Cause they're not hot for me right now. They're not hot. And I won't. Maybe because I plant them beside these sweet peppers or something. I don't know. But uh, my Tabascos, they they starting to do some on this one. They look like the dang super chilies. See? Ya? I guess they turn yellow and then they turn red. They'll be good, some good collard green. And you dip that, you put that stuff in the sauce, not sauce, but in a, in a little pot, in a little jar. What's that? That's like another bell pepper pick off. And you sprinkle it on your collard greens. That's what you need, man. Is that big enough or what? Got two bell peppers in. Let me see. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take them off. I'll let them grow a little longer. But, got two in there, still three. Trying to see if this is big. Ah. I'll leave them on there. They'll get a little bigger. They look big, man. He's going this side. That's the green side. I cut them off of the red side. They got them on it, but I want them to turn red. They show the picture red, I want them red. It says you can pick them green and red, but if you get red peppers, don't you want to pick it red? So, before I close out of here, uh, I got my pods going up, my radish, radishes. You see how big they are? Ain't nothing drying out yet, but a lot of pods. Kind of like them collards, like that, um, on, on Dan's video, they do the same thing. They home in the sticks. Y'all need to check him out. He's a pretty cool guy. Just visit his uh, channel, home. Dan at Home in the Sticks. But he has like a little college, uh, I think they call it a uh, True Blue College, I want to say. And uh, it looked like that. They, they pot out just like that, but I think they had more on his. So that's where the seeds are at. So check him out. He has some other stuff. He got cooking and all that stuff over there. But, uh, and last but not least, my sunflowers. Every morning they look to the sun and at the end of the day they look to the west. I guess I go ahead and dedicate these flowers to my, my two uncles that passed away. Uh, uncle, uncle Jim and my uncle Glenn. They're standing around for me. Watching over my garden, but uh, I think they're about to bloom too. They already got the sunflower up there at the top. So I'll dedicate these flowers to my uncles. It's, it's, they're standing strong though. Look how, look how big the base is. Got a broomstick. If you see ants going up your, uh, your, your Sunflowers don't worry about them. They they up there digging around. They, I don't really know what they do in there, but they haven't hurt my plant. If you see any other squash bugs on there, don't worry about it. Um, they're not hurting the plant. Sunflowers to me, they're a deterrent. But they pull stuff out the garden. They the bugs and they love them flowers. They don't hurt the flower. They don't they don't hurt this plant plant at all. They're just one big giant flower with seeds on it at the end. So that's my dedication to Dave, my uncles, for Memorial Day.
Y'all have a good Memorial Day and uh, don't get too hot out there.